no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing to He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the take for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, here now, the veteran Ladies voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 168 pounds. Fighting out of Modesto, California, Chico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Ooh, blocks the shot. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Straight right hand, no good. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Defense there as he blocks the shot. Next with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Back and forth we go. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Big punch lands over the top. 
How's he going to follow this one up? And he landed the right hand there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Let's go. Hurt his body. Hurt his body. Liver kick. Just over two minutes to go. Blocks the shot. Nice punch lands over the top. Beautiful body kick. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Nice punch lands. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Now connects with a right. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, he hurt him badly, jab. Big punch land. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. His misses are entertaining. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Misses again with a right punch. What a punch. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Switching stances here. Head kick. Nice punch land over the top. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Lands another huge kick in again. Now a knee. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, straight right. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Nice body kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Combination landed by Lee. 
Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Final seconds here. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Right. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. He gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Trying to kick the leg out. Still nice body kick lands. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Switch the guard, lands the right hand. Nice punch here. Just a slip there. Nice defense there, huge block. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Let's go. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Lee gets caught with that punch. Punch coming, it's blocked. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Just misses with a left hook there. Big kick lands. Ten seconds. Just out of range with that left hook. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men, certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. What a punch. He blocks the punch. 
Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Slips the punch. Another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Big head kick land. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. To the well with that right hand, it's no good. Oh, nice right hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watch this guy. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. Oh, he might be out. And just inches away from landing one. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Whoa! Don't get him. He's out. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of round number four. To play the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that.